New at five, the U.S. State Department putting out an advisory telling Americans not to travel to Jamaica. It's one of several Caribbean countries on the list. Now, they list COVID-19 as the reason why, and a local woman stuck in that country says she understands why. She tells our Caitlin Ross she has been trying to leave the country for a full week, but can't get permission to fly out. Today is Wednesday. Um, doing another antigen test. Lauren Seff posted a video of herself taking a rapid COVID test on Facebook today because she wants to be clear. She does not think she has the virus. I've had zero symptoms. She traveled to a Jamaican resort on January 3rd with a friend and planned to come home on the 6th. She had to be tested by the resort before leaving on the 5th and was told her test came back positive. I've already quarantined for five days. I completely understand if I got a positive test quarantining for five days, I get it. But now you've got to wait another five days. She says the resort refused to show her the test and by Jamaican law, she had to take a PCR test that the resort told her was also positive, but again would not show her right away. They moved her to a room without internet or air conditioning, and she says they did not give her food or water for the first two days. We're not asking for to put Jamaicans in, at risk. All we want to do is just go home. She's been there for seven days now and will have to stay until at least Sunday, but she says other American citizens quarantining with her are in worse shape. Last night, a girl in here had four seizures because she doesn't have her medication. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can I touch you? It's scary. You guys, it's very scary. She posted a video of what happened because she wants everyone to see how bad the conditions are there. I would highly, highly recommend you reconsidering your travel here. So Lauren is hoping again to fly home on Sunday, but first she needs to get a fit to fly certificate from the office of the prime minister, and that may delay her trip even further. We'll be sure to keep you updated.